All right, so this is now ready to be poured into a prepared baking tray, baking loaf. So this is about 10 by 4 inches, just to give you all an idea. So that is my uh, recommendation when you're using this recipe to bake. All right, so just scraping off this blade now, so we can pour everything out nicely. The oven is also done preheating, so perfect timing. I also have about 3 4 cup of chopped chocolate here, ready on the side, which I'm going to sprinkle all over the brownies. I'd recommend you to use at least say 1 fourth to half if you don't want to go for the full 3 fourth. Um, but yeah, don't skip on it, that's really going to help make these gooey and fudgy. And yeah, to repeat again, the oven is preheating at 180 degrees Celsius. Alright, let's now just give everything a mix once and then pour it all out into a tin. So stop at around half of the batter in there. Grab that beautiful chopped chocolate and you can see I have three sizes. Some really big chunks, some small, some large. So I'm going to sprinkle kind of a little bit of all out here. I'm just going to shake the pan to spread out the batter that's in there already. Let's do a few big chunks as well. All right. Now let's finish with the rest. Now you can kind of just grab this and give it a little shake. Tap it. Up. If you see any big sections like that, and you want to keep it really nice and clean, just grab a little tissue and you can wipe it down. It's not going to rise too much, but we have put some rising agents in there, like the baking powder and baking soda. Alright, so grab the rest of the chocolate now. Let's load these babies up. Keep the big chunks in there as well. Alright, and then now just gently press the chocolate down into the surface of the brownie so it kind of glues everything together. And you can also make sure that you're spreading them out that they're not evenly distributed. Another little shake and tap and they're ready. Alright, so they are now ready to be baked. Let's go ahead and pop these in the oven for 30 minutes. If you want to cook them well, you can aim for around 25 to 28 if you like them. Fudgy. Alright, so the brownies are now ready. Let's pull them out of the oven and let's cool them down before we can slice them up. Here we go, they have risen beautifully and we're just going to cool them for about half an hour and then let's go ahead and slice them up. And they're ready. This is how they look. We're just going to cool them down now. Alright, so the brownies are now ready. They're still slightly warm but that's the temperature that I like to eat them. But you can let them completely cool down and then also refrigerate if you prefer them cold. So I'm just going to loosen up the sides a little bit, still keeping that paper on, that parchment paper on. So it is running or offset spatula around the edges. Okay. And then that overhang now is going to come to use. So we're going to move quickly since it's still kind of warm. And there we go. Uh, all right so you can see the parchment paper comes off super easily let's go ahead and slice these up so i'm going to just use my offset spatula for this i'm going to get one really gooey and fudgy brownie 
Let's do a few more. You can also just use like a sharp knife. But while they're warm, they're gonna be harder to handle. And yeah, they're gonna be like a ooey gooey mess. I can't wait to dig in. I hope you guys enjoy making these with me. Definitely give them a try. They're worth the effort and they're also super fast to make. So hope you guys try them out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, check out my Instagram handles as well. And I'll be back with more recipes soon.